it is a tragedy. Yeah, honey, we got ourselves a real tragedy here. This is an American tragedy. <laughs> Here you are, my good man. Recycle. <laughs> Magic. Uh... Oh. Come on, honey. Here you are. Limbo, how low can you go? Texas. We moved here to live with my cousins. Look at that gut. <laughs> Go on, Ben. Have you any hobbies? Well, I like to read a lot, especially about old civilizations, the Egyptians, the Indians. We have a wonderful library here, Ben. Welcome to Derry. Thank you, Miss Douglas. Oink, oink. <laughs> You will stay for one hour after school every day this week. My father will tear my hide. You should have thought of that before you picked on Ben. Now report to the principal's office. You're dead, fat boy. <laughs> boy. Gonna be some funeral, friend. Like this place so well, you're gonna stand there all day? School's over, you know. Um, excuse us, please. Can we get through? Honestly, Ronnie, some people have no class. Some people have janitors for parents. Well, so long, Ben Hanscom. I'm Beverly Marsh. Well, see you tomorrow, Beverly Marsh. Cuz, this is something for school to see. Ooh, a poem. It's private. Your hair is winter fire. January embers. Hey, Mom, listen to this. Betty's in love. To this bear. Oh, oh Mom, my stop that. Oh. Benjamin, the parents can stop that immediately. You young nuffy. I hate you. You're only here because Mom says it's our Christian duty. Are you there? Mike? Yeah, buddy. Listen. It, it's come back. <sighs> How much do you remember? How much do you remember? Very little. Almost nothing. Will you come? I'll come. Beverly by hand. One moment, please. Miss Marsh's office. Hold one, please. Yes. Bev, some call from Maine. Says it's important. Maine? 
Pam, I said no calls until... We've got a minute. I'll take it. No. Get their number and close the door. Your hands are shaking. I'm scared to death, Tom. That stuff spreads like cancer. I won't have it around. Yeah, it's perfect. Don't touch it. Listen to me, Bevy. We've got a bunch of well-heeled Japanese gentlemen waiting for us downstairs. We're gonna show them around. You're gonna play the charming, flamboyant designer. We're gonna sit down, make a deal. I'm gonna play hardball, and when it's over, we're gonna be rich. If you get a hold of yourself right now. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, kiss me good luck. Okay, let's go. Oh, Bevy, don't ever contradict me in front of Pam again, okay? Gentlemen, I'm Beverly Marsh. This is my partner, Tom Grogan. So, I'll, I'll go this way. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. See you, Ben. Yeah, she bo. Hi, yo, Silver! Away! See you, Beverly. See you. My heart burns there, too. Answer me. Answer me. Please, please. Don't cry. Eddie, okay, you're Mom. scaring me so bad. You've got to tell me. Eddie. Eddie. Where are you going? I've got to go back to Derry. Derry? Why would you want to go back to that dirty little town? There's nothing for you there. There never was, Eddie. Eddie? What's going on? Nothing. You look like you've seen a ghost. Move it! 